Hi everybody, now I don't know if you can actually, you, you probably won't be able to see me, but um, we're actually having a big thunderstorm right now, and I kind of want to catch a little bit on camera, but whether or not that will work, I'll never know. Oh fuck me, that was loud. Loud? Whoa! Get ready, people. It's gonna be loud. Oh, girl! You best go with yourself. See what happens when you do gay hate. God gets angry. Hey, everybody, this is Sunday, and I'm back for another video. And welcome to day eight. Who do you don't know that's Daniel? I'm Dave. You're Dave. Fuck. Be a house of one. Hope you're amazing. I hope you had a fabulous day. Um, obviously Daniel's here eventually after saying he was gonna come last time, but he never actually turned up. So yeah, no, I, I did give a good reason. No, yeah. not a good yeah. reason. Getting a car is not a good reason. <laughs> I'm better than anything. I should be on top of your priority list. Okay. No, this is the first time I've seen him for like a month. A month? It's been almost. It's not a, been a month. It's been it's almost a month since. God. So, yeah, oh my God, Daniel passed his driving test though. So yeah. um. <laughs> About like two and he hours can weeks he can drive me around now. So drive me around. Yeah. Why did you get Daniel? Explain to the camera why you didn't tell me. Why? Why you didn't tell me past the test? I wanted to come up from the car and be like, hello, Roland. I didn't tell anyone. You told Chloe. Well, she looked at my phone. No, 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 two, no, no. You told me to whatever. You weren't here to look at my phone. It's only yeah, bros before hoes, okay? We're okay. not hoes before bros, so. Gays before girls. <laughs> Get, yeah. <laughs> That thunderstorm was so fucking amazing, I'm not even joking, it was like, I literally was sitting there and I could feel the ground shake, like, literally I could feel it shiver. Oh my god, it was amazing. And when I saw that thunderbolt lightning, I was like, this act is over! And that was when my camera decided to die, and I didn't have any spare batteries, so I couldn't actually use my camera anymore, and obviously it takes ages to charge. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little, the little tiny snippet with Daniel, there wasn't really much, I'm sorry. But it is actually Sunday now, I recorded that yesterday with Daniel, um, but yeah, so literally, hi everybody, and this is Sunday and I'm back from the video, and welcome to day eight! <laughs> But yeah, I've been working all day, so I'm a bit kind of like, bleh, now. So I look, I look a bit kind of, you know, I don't look my best. Yeah, oh my god, it's so busy. It, like, I've been actually heaving today. I've literally been on the till, scanning things constantly all day. So I'm really glad that I'm home. Now, I'm not going to keep talking, because I don't want this video to go on for ages. But, um, I'll do a better video tomorrow. I promise tomorrow's video will be better. But I'm going to go straight to comments of the day. Um, and this is a response to what I said two days ago, when I said, um, what were your thoughts on Lady Gaga's Judas video? And Daniel Walker 28 says, I want a lipstick gun. Now, Oh, oh my god, that was so, I mean, literally, that was so funny when that happened. I burst out laughing when she had the lipstick come out the gun. A lot of you said this, actually. A lot of you were saying about how, um, attractive the Jesus person was. But I didn't act, like, to me, he didn't actually do anything for me. When people were saying, like, oh, the Jesus guy was really hot, I was actually thinking to myself, was he? Like, I didn't, he didn't really do much for me. And from yesterday's video, um, I got so, I mean, now I got so many comments from you guys that were so lovely. Like, it, I, I was a bit kind of, like... That's so cute. Love Laugh Twilight said, I just want to tell you how inspirational your spirit is. And then Sammy K Sammy K9590 says, How cute. I love you so much. One day I hope to inspire others as you inspire me. Now that I mean that meant so much to, I mean that means so much to me that you'd like you guys would all think that. It's like that because it really makes it worthwhile. Cause this is honestly what I'm trying to do, you know. I'm not here just for like, the gay community. I'm here for everyone. I just want to show you, you know, you know, you can live the way you want to live and don't give a shit about what other people think about you and when I hear comments like this it like it really makes it worthwhile and also um a special thank you to Hot Missa um Mr. Girl I love you so much you're so like you're so lovely and thanks for doing that um video response and I'm so happy that you know I helped you stay on YouTube and people who don't know Missa she's such a, I mean she's such a lovely woman she supports us like so much she loves us gays and it's so I think it's so important to really appreciate women like her who like are fighting for us like even though she's not gay she's a straight woman but you know she's still fighting Fighting for our cause, and I think we need to appreciate really nice, genuine people like her. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna put a link to her channel actually. Go down to the underbar, and her channel will be there. Um, I think you should go subscribe to her. She's such—I mean, she's such a lovely woman. I think she deserves, you know, a lot more um, views than what she gets. But no, so my comment question of the day—I'm actually stealing it from what someone asked me yesterday. I can't remember exactly who it was now. And I want to know your scariest moments. Now, now, please don't tell me things like you know that Maddox murderer came and tried to kill me, or you know I found out I was dying in a year. Like that's horrible. Don't. Tell 
tell me things like that because, you know, that'll upset me and I'll get like... So, I want to know more things like, like what I did when I said that I went abseiling and it was so fucking high. I know I was safe and nothing was going to happen to me, but I mean, it was scared me shitless, but I still did it. So, you know, I don't know, have you been paragliding or did you go parachute jumping? Like, none of this scary thing that, you know, someone came into your room and was like, DIE! Tell me your scariest moment, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow, have a fabulous day. And I'm going to shut up now, I'm going to go scoff my face full of food. And yeah. Ungasha!